everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I'm going to make a real simple Chinese dinner. It consists of ground beef, but we season it with ginger and garlic. We have radishes, bok choy. I'm going to make a sauce with mayonnaise and honey Dijon mustard. Now, the bok choy, I have to cut it up and uh, wash it and all. Like most of these meals, we use sesame oil and a soy sauce and, of course, uh, rice wine. Now, I've measured all this stuff out as far as the honey Dijon mustard goes. I'll have to squirt that later, but the mayonnaise, I have all this measured out. You don't have to remember the measurements. If you want, just click on the subscribe button, then you'll see the more button, and that's where my recipes live. Of course, you can also go to the website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com. And, by the way, the question of the day today is... Do you like mayonnaise? So if you like mayonnaise, hit your thumbs up button. Click that thumbs up button, we're taking a survey. If you like mayonnaise. So we start out by spraying our pan with some Pam. Whenever I cook rice, I spray the pan with Pam. Even though I have these super fantastic nonstick pans, always do that. water get that going now I need to cut up things so the bok choy we have to cut and wash so the easiest way to do this is to cut off the bottom of the bok choy just like that Then, literally just cut it in half. When you cut it in half, you can take the little part root out. Get that little sliver out like that. Have radishes that I need to clean up. Ginger. I just took a chunk off the part that I had in the refrigerator. Some people scrape this and try to save it. Myself personally, I don't think it's overly expensive, so I just kind of trim it up. It's pretty strong, so you don't want to use a lot of it. I just like to clean it up. So I just get a nice chunk like that. See how it looks. Is there any spots I don't like? Okay, and then I'm just going to thinly slice. Just like that. That's what it looks like. Then I have to do my garlic. For my, my garlic, I just knock the ends off. After I get the ends knocked off, I'm going to try something new I read on the internet that if you take one of these little rubber things and you put your garlic in it, like this, and you roll it inside here, supposedly it takes the paper right off. I guess it does. I don't know if that's any easier than my other trick that I do. Time to put the rice in. Oil. So you just put this in here. I just keep this jar. In my drawer. Get 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the condition. Well, that one came off really well. See, it depends on the garlic. Let's go with the roll method. Let's try this. There you go. Boy, I took it right off. This works better than the jar. That's my vote. That's your tip for the day. Cut up the garlic, slices. Then smash it, mince it. Nice small pieces like that. Stir your rice. Set the timer. Here's a garlic press. See if we can fit it all in the press at one time. It's like when you're in college, how many people can you put in a telephone booth at one time when there used to be telephone booths or in a Volkswagen. I realized that after I said it. Like, there's no more telephone booths. Clocks didn't used to be digital. There you go. That looks real good. I'm real happy with that. So that's all ready. Now let's go ahead and uh, wash the uh, bok choy. Now bok choy, cut this fast. This is pretty easy. There we go. Clean out your strainer and get this back in here again. Just make it easier to dump it in the pan later when you're ready to go dump. So this rice, you're basically cooking it until the water is gone. That's the best way to describe it, and that's just like right on with my timer, too. The next thing you want to do is to put your rice wine vinegar and your oil and mix it together. And you'll have to stir this again a little bit later, but just give it a little loose stir. Put your radishes in and get them marinating. I'm just going to take and combine these two together, and this is going to go in with my beef. So I'm turning my oven on, or stove. has to sit for 
a minute or so and start to shimmer a little bit. And we're going to put some salt and pepper in here with this. I can go ahead and put this meat in and start to break it up. Did you notice how I kept the meat in a dish? That's so that I don't have to touch it so my hands stay clean. This is on your keto diet, this oil and this beef, which is called protein, technically. You know, we're shooting for 160 something. And I can go ahead and dump in my soy sauce real fast in my. And I'm going to need to drain this, but I'm doing this before I drain it so that I don't have a lot of the juice. I wish you could smell this. By the way, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help out, hit the subscribe button. We're working to get our thousand subscribers so that we can do giveaways and contests and promotions. We have 12,000 views. People are watching. We just need to get everybody that watches to hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget the question of the day. If you like mayonnaise, hit the thumbs up button. I've been cooking so much Asian and Chinese lately, I've just been on this kick using a wok shovel. Just really seems to work well. It's a little bit wider than uh, your typical spatula is. I'm picking it up. I have the spatula kicked back at an angle so it drips out. So I'll scoop it up, tip back. I exaggerate a little bit. Now for a variation on this, I think instead of olive oil, you can use bacon grease if you want. That would make it interesting. And of course you can save the grease or you can pitch it. I have a container here to dump it in. Now I can put my meat back in. Put my bok choy in. That won't take long. Let's go ahead and to the next step, let's remove the radishes and the marinade. Get that out. Now we have to do the mayonnaise and the water. So if you pour your water about a tablespoon into your mayonnaise, it'll thin it and make it easier to bring out of your container into your mixing bowl. These are the kind of shortcuts you kind of figure out along the way. I didn't go to cooking school. I'm not a chef. I'm just a cook making dinner for Barb and myself and having fun doing it. How much fun is it to have 12,000 people watching you cook? I love when you guys send me comments, messages. Not all of them get posted, but... Well, 
I don't remember if I got it at the local grocery store or if I got it at a restaurant supply store. You probably have a restaurant supply store near you where you live. I'm in the Chicagoland area. We have Gordon's. They supply to the restaurants. They sell to the general public. They just don't give us wholesale price. I'm sure that's probably a $3 thing. And radishes. These are going to be delicious, these radishes. I'm just going to put them on there like that. Then we pour a little bit of our topping on it. Right in the middle. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.